another case if it would if it takes heat to uh, to make the reaction go forward, like making biodiesel, um, which is the reason why I heated this, is because that's called an endothermic reaction, and this right here is called an exothermic reaction. So this actually heats up. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a second. Okay. And do we actually have a funnel or anything like that? Let me make sure this goes to completion, actually. Wow, I think it's heating up. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure all the lye crystals uh, materialize in the methanol. So go ahead and do that. Um, but basically, biodiesel can be used in any kind of diesel vehicle without modifications. You can take a diesel vehicle right off the street and put biodiesel straight into the tank and it will work perfectly fine. So that's a big, big advantage of biodiesel. But there are also vehicles on the road today that you can actually take direct vegetable oil and put it right in the vehicle and it would work. And that's called a straight vegetable oil vehicle. If you ever get a chance to visit a very large biodiesel plant, what they do is they use huge, huge tanks, like they're several stories tall, and they put the, uh, the sodium hydroxide in through the top and they mix it, and it's a really amazing to see what kind of oil they, they uh, or the result of uh, making that, so it's pretty neat. And most biodiesel plants either use soy or canola, so they actually use this. So. This is something very, very simple that a lot of people do in their garages, and they use uh, used vegetable oil, which a lot of uh, restaurants use, and they they set up reactors in their garage, and you know on the weekends or whenever they have time, they just make biodiesel. It's not a long process; it can take about three hours to fully make a, a batch that can run in your vehicle. So, as you can see, it's basically changing colors, but I want to make sure that I give you a full reaction. In, in, uh, in larger scale, when making biodiesel, you usually put it in a tank and you have the color blades at the bottom or something and it mixes for you. So in this case, I'm just doing it by hand. <laughs> just showing you. very, very cloudy right now, much different from this. And so what we're going to do is just set that off to the side right now. And it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for this to fully settle down. And I'll go ahead and remove the label uh, when that happens. But we'll let this settle down. And uh, what's going to happen is the reaction is actually taking place right now. Um, there's some heat being released right now. But because I added heat earlier, that really helped. And what's happening right now is the transesterification process is taking place. So some of the glycerin is being formed right now, and some of the biodiesel is, uh, is being formed. Glycerin is usually about 20% of this reaction. So by the time I wait through about 20 minutes or so, you'll start seeing like an orange layer form at the bottom, and that's actually glycerin. And what you do is you just drain that out of your tank, refine the glycerin, or you can use it directly um, in your soap. So once, that, uh, w once that's removed, you basically have biodiesel, and you can do a couple things. You can actually uh, drip water on it, 
or uh, do some other techniques. And what that does is that just cleans up your biodiesel a little bit. But right now this reaction is taking place and it takes, this is 20 to 30 minutes for a full conclusion for this to take place. So it's just, as you can see, it's really, really simple. Um, you just have to be very careful when you're using lye and when you're using methanol. So those chemicals, you know, you don't want to get those on your skin. You just want to be very, very careful. So in this case, I was wearing, you know, full protection on, on my hands, which was very, very good. Um, you know, in, in large-scale biodiesel plants, everything is basically mechanic. You know, uh, it's uh, mechanized, so it's uh, very easy. You see large amounts of lye and large amounts of methanol being added to huge vats of oil, and it's very, very neat to see it on the industrial scale.